Well, it's here. It's finally here. I finally get to test drive the new Aria. And uh, I'm gonna do the best I can for you guys. I'm only allowed, gone are the days. Gone are the days where I could get the car for two days and really try it out, figure out the range, figure out the, the power, figure out all the, all the things about it. Those days are gone. <laughs> I burned my bridges a while back, but they did let me do two drives around the block. And uh, so let's go through it and see what we can find out from that little bit of driving I did do. Um, let's get started. Okay, this is it. The new Aria from Nissan. <laughs> I personally feel like it should be on the, the, the Infinity badge. Uh, this car drives so nice. It's got so many new, uh, some, so many high class features to it. Uh, the, the power is incredible for a single motor. This is the lowest grade they sell. It's a single motor, 60 kilowatt hour battery pack. It goes for a little over sixty thousand dollars with options. It has it has ProPipe two point put in it. It's got the parking. It has remote control. You can you can move the car back and forth or even tell it to park by itself from remote control. Um, it has all of that plus the over the over the air updates and things like that um, for sixty some thousand dollars, which isn't too bad, really. I know it's really it's a lot of money, but. Considering my EMV 200 with a 24 kilowatt hour battery pack cost me over $50,000, this isn't too shabby because this has actual real suspension. It's a, such a smooth ride. Uh, let's go for a test ride and I'll talk more about all the features inside the car uh, when I'm doing the driving. Let's try this again. I zeroed everything out again. We're starting at uh, the 42 kilometer mark for what we've traveled. Uh, and we're gonna go on this loop. And I'm gonna try to take it as easy as possible. You can see my power I'm using on the left side. And let's see, I gotta get to 40. I wanna go to 45 actually. Uh, get to 45. I'm taking it really easy. I have it in, uh, there's three drive modes on this car. I'm using standard. There's eco standard and sport right yeah equal standard and sport i'm in standard mode right now which means i can accelerate pretty quick <laughs> this car is quick even though this is a single motor rear wheel drive with a, i think he told me 110 kilowatt motor um it's very quick uh, it, it feels like uh 
It feels like the 40 kilowatt leaf when you when you step on it, but I haven't even tried it in sport yet. That's in standard. And then turn right. Oh, can I make it? Oh, I can make it. Sorry. This is really hard to do. I want to try to get everything into view. All right, the the ProPilot thing is really good. This is ProPilot pro pro 2.0. There's a camera right here. So you don't even have to hold the steering wheel when it's in, uh, activated. And uh, the heads up display is very visible. It doesn't really show up too well on this camera, but let me tell you, it's big. And it, it looks like the numbers look like they're like in front of the car. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And uh, the uh, heads up display will show your speed. It'll show turn by turn navigation, even though you have a full navigation map here, you know, as well as over here. You, you, it'd be really hard to get lost in this car. You got three things telling you when to turn and stuff, as well as the talking. Uh, as you can tell, I have it in English. This is a bilingual car, so it, it, the odometer and navigation can be put to English or Japanese. So, here, that's pretty cool. Well, what did I say? It was 44. Still 44, really? Not a very long trip. What was the percentage? I forgot to check the percentage. I do know it's roughly 1% to go this course. It's a short course. Um, I used, of course I was accelerating. I was trying to, I was trying to see the power on it, but I used 1% last time I went around on this course. Uh, this is my second time. Uh, yeah. Traffic's a lot less now. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna make this one. I'm getting loss of region. By the way, another thing that's interesting about this car is when you change the drive modes, let's see if I can show you. It's in the wrong menu right now for that. I guess it's fine. When you change the drive modes from eco to standard to sport, if you notice the, the, uh, Range doesn't change anymore. It used to ch it, you know, on the leaf, it changes, but not on this car. They don't change the range. That's interesting. Um, you have many different screens you can use. I can go to, uh, let's see, it's got a cool, uh, you got a full, full display as well. Um, full display navigation as well. Oh, sorry. Well, this, this has the automatic uh, turn signals, huh? So the turn signals on this will automatically disengage, or you, like uh, you can do the lane change, lane change type. There's no actual clicking thing on this. Koko wa speed wa goju? Okay, let's try it. Let's give one. Wow, in, that's just crazy. In standard, for it to go like that, this thing has a lot of power. Single motor, jubun da yo. I don't know if you would really, when do you really, I mean, I know SUVs are supposed to be four wheel drive, but when do you really need that kind of power? This thing's insane. That wasn't standard. I'd hate to, sports or do you kanji? Wow, honto? I'm just out of curiosity. You know, for, for scientific reasons. Well, sport, okay, we're in sport mode. So next I'll try to sport. Also, activate the navigation. Oh, not navigation, activate the ProPilot. And, uh, yeah. Let's go back. All right. All right. Here we go, guys. All right. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, just like, the, yeah, Sugoi. Just like the Leaf, it doesn't take off like, off, off like a like that because they you know torque you tear up your tires so there's a little bit of a total buffer out of side show but once that power band kicks in that's crazy that pulls you in the seat really well and my percentage is that, that went down one percent but that's insane <sighs> crazy and the region is really powerful region yeah the region is really powerful in this you have really good region. Uh, I missed the light again. I have not, even though it's cl pretty clear c compared to earlier, I'm still not doing well on the lights. Anyways, uh, as you can tell, the display is 
I don't know. To me, it's it, it's like a lot of EVs out there now. They've updated the display. It's a nice display. It's big. You can go full screen on this if you wanted to, right? Total mold. Maybe hit here. You can go full screen. <laughs> That's crazy. So you got that big, big boy. And it's, like I said, it's bilingual, so now it's in English. Uh, I don't think the I don't think the car will talk to in English. You have aircon controls from here, but you also have them here as well. Seat heaters and steering wheel heaters here. Passengers over here. Um, it's very comfortable, very quiet. That's why I did two times. I want to show how quiet it is. I, I still like this. I like the fact that when you turn the car off, the seat pulls back and the steering wheel sucks up. Suck, you know, it goes in, so easy out. And then when you turn it on, it, everything comes back together. It's pretty, you know, it's very, reminds me a lot of uh, when I did used to drive Lexuses around and stuff. Very nice. This is, I, I am I am surprised. This is a Kori Nissan, eh? It's not the Infinity badge. This, this to me is like Infinity kanji. Yeah. Because it's just, it's just, it's so high end feel. It's like, you know, the, the, it, I'm gonna get, what's the emo? Infinity one, Nihon. Skywave, right? Skyline, more than Skyline, Skyline. The Futsuno Skyline? The GTR Junk Day, the Skyline. Skyline is Nissan? Nissan. Oh, uh, okay. What do you have for uh, What do you have for uh, Infinity? Infinity Nihon Auto? Now, it's not. It's not. Oh, there's no, no, no Infinities in Japan. Nissan's emblem is new. Well, it's a good It's very cool. But I always thought like Nissan had Infinity, Toyota has. Lexus, Honda has Acura, but Nissan uh, more Kori Kado Infinity not not Oh, okay, yeah. I see. Yeah, it's just it's so high end this car. Oh, well, by the way, we're supposed to be using the aircon. It is kind of hot. Let's see what these vents work like. Oh, that feels good. This is interesting. These vents are down here, huh? Oh, it's two zone. Oh, okay, we got dual zone. I forgot to do that. Oh, I'm gonna, someone's gonna get mad at me. One of my subscribers asked me to make sure I did this, did this drive test with the aircon on. Uh, once again, I don't know if it changed the range. I'll have to check again. I'm trying to do so much right now because I'm by myself. How much is the range changing when you turn the aircon on? I'll have to check that. This car, it's so big, you, you can't tell how quickly you're accelerating. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of heavy, right? You don't feel any, it's so, so it's like a Kumo Mitai, you don't feel the bumps in the road. And I know this road we're going on right now is under construction all the time. So it's pretty bumpy. You can see me shaking, but you don't feel it in your back or anything. You can, you sense it because the steering wheel's jiggling a little bit and stuff, but it's so smooth. And it's really quiet. This car's quiet, even with the air con on. I'm noticing the range is dropping now that I have the air con on. Um, but it doesn't like, it's not like the leaf where it would drop automatically, like what, 10, 15 kilometers um, when you turn the air con on. It doesn't do that now, but it does start, the, the, it does start dropping as you're driving quicker. I noticed that. Got a car, <laughs> got a truck, my bike. <laughs> Is my bike in the way? I hope not. All right, Mr. Yamada. Thank you. And then I'm going to go over those real quick, the stats. Even though I did accelerate a couple times in sport mode. I'm in sport mode still. I never took it out. Uh, look at that. Parking this car is a breeze with these with this big display. Look at that. Pretty easy. <laughs> that is smooth as silk. It does have it does have Pro Pilot Park, whatever you call it, Pro Pilot, Pro Park, Pro Pilot Parking. Yeah, it has that. It has the auto park. 
you don't really need it with that big display. It makes it really easy. Yeah, this car is really easy to drive. All right, real quick. Uh, let's turn this off real quick. Uh, go back to... Okay, and go here. We got to look for the over... Oh, that was it, the economy mode. So I did 6.9 kilometers per kilowatt hour. It's not bad considering I was stepping on the gas or XL a couple times. Um, I'm averaging 10 point, I did, uh, we did how many kilometers? We actually went 6.9? No. Where did we go? We went 10 kilometers, really? We traveled 10.1 kilometers? No, I must have not zeroed everything out. No, but it's a minute and two seconds. Yeah, we went 10 kilometers? Wow, it didn't feel like that. 6.9? I could, I must have done something wrong. I must, when I, I don't know. Is that right? Two kilo. Yeah, I got I zeroed this out and this is zeroed out because these are different numbers. These are all these three are different from before when I when I zeroed them out. This couldn't have been ten kilometers. Two kilometers at nine. Yeah. Mm. That's like two or three. Nissan grade. So, so, yeah. I must have forgot to zero that one out. Darn it. Still showing four or we're showing forty six, yeah. Yeah, it's like three kilometers, 46 now. 315 kilometers at 83%. Yeah, the car's doing great. It range was so good. Yeah, and this this model, this model, what's the model? 60 kilowatt. 60 kilowatt. And a little stop on the block. Oh. oh. Okay. One more time forwards. Forwards, one more time. Here and here for forwards. And stop right about there. Wow, that's cool. Okay, I like that. So you get in like semi no token all. You get a little tight in a tight space. You get out of the car, close the door, and then just pull the car back in. And the same thing. And when you when you get back, you can pull the car out and get in your car easily. Boom, just like that. That's really nice. I like that. And then to turn it off, you just hold this one down, and it locks it up. Uh, there's eco sport standard eco in eco mode it's not a sound you can need to q kilo car night hmm what the hell car night e pedal off okay sport yeah sound like a need to q okay 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 oh nice oh i oh. like that you got a full navi right here. Do you, do you see that? Yes. Are you videotaping? Yeah. Ooh, I like that. The tire. Uh, I don't like that. Tire. Is it bilingual too? Yeah, bilingual diggity oh. We, we tried it, remember? We did it. Oh, what did it? ego diggity oh. Then she will go home diggity oh. Doko, doko, doko. Koko, ne? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, but. Yeah, I'm going to stop. 
ああ、there it is, 日本語。あ、英語だけ。英語、日本語だけ。OK。Cool, now I can read it. イェイ。イェイ。読める。嬉しい。Check it out. すごくないどうおー、すごい。あ、マップも。Yeah, it's got a map. 地図もあるよ。英語になった。Oh, the map's in English. おお。Oh. Oh. Oh. Oh, ここも。Okay. ここ捨てる日本語。<笑>でもここも英語できるかもしれないね。どうなの？イコペダルガイドマニュアルリセット1。Oh, there's there's the stuff I like. That's the stuff I like. Can I zero? Can I zero out? Like this? All items, yes. Confirm reset. Yeah, why not? Sanjay Roku Kino Dake. Yeah, okay. All right, so now it's all starting fresh. Okay. Turn this steering wheel heater off. You don't know. This one, the side, I think I. The side, I got. Okay. 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 All right. Drive. And the brake is this Gido or? Ah, axle is under. I think it's Gido. Gido. I love that heads up. The heads up is amazing. Probably has turn by turn on the heads up too, man. Ooh, look at that front end. The lights are on. Daytime driving lights, huh? Off and できないってやつ。そうそうそう、off and できない。Oh, this is hard to drive my shoe because the thing keeps getting stuck on the pedals. I might be ripping the sole off. He does it, show. Hi. Oh, we will. So can you do it? Who's gonna let us out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it has a noise maker. It's so quiet inside the cabin. We can hear it. I don't hear anything. I'll do it. Do you? Where's the hazard? Hazard one. It's kind of a weird location. Is it still not still not? I don't know. It's too much. Why not? Yeah. Yeah, not yet. Still not yet. I've got the whole thing on the heads up. That's pretty cool. It's working. Zimbu yatteri ojiro de. I'm not doing a thing. The car's doing it. I got my foot on the brake just in case. Chanto yatteru. Let's see. Is it gonna go? Yatteru? Yatteru, yatteru. Okay, so what? Then when I hit this, it should disengage. It didn't dis. It didn't disengage. So what? Oh, I hear it now. Naga choto oto deru. The speed's too high for it. Right now, it's too too fast. <laughs> yeah, leaf a whole soy. All right, you go take it. Ah, it 
Now I can hear it. Yeah, it's a little bit louder. Oh. Um, it's kind of nice sound. Let's go. Ah, I can't hear it anymore. It's very low. It's very quiet. Mm. Nice. Very nice. That doesn't bother me. That sound does not bother me. Oh, he's ready? Oh, he's ready. <laughs> RS uh, follow vehicle ahead. Oh, so if I hit this, the hit this, and now when the car goes, I don't do a thing. The car will go. Oh, it's did it again. Cool. You can try again. Yeah. All right. And now when you turn turn signals on though, it doesn't it doesn't turn off. Oh it did, it did turn off, okay. Whoa. Nice turn. Good suspension. Tesla point now. Oh. <laughs> There's a camera in the front too. Hmm? It's a camera. Hmm, camera out here. Oh. Like this, quick camera. Hmm? Okay. Oh, there we go. You got it. Oh no, that was mine. Mine, though. mine, sorry, mine. Not that one.
Nobody see how. Nismo leave multiple kanji. But this is real. If it's four, it's more strong. Yeah, yeah. 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 Standard, good acceleration. Better than the van. Oh yeah. This motor is nine kilowatt. So you know, the leaf is eight hundred, right? This motor is nine kilowatt. Ah, one hundred, one hundred and ten. Okay. Alright. Should we try the Jido parking? I want to do it with the key, Kagi Day. Ah. そしたらこ,ここ入れますか。It took a while, quite a bit longer than was supposed to happen to get the Aria here, but it's here now. And uh, starting with the base model, the price is pretty reasonable for all you get. Even though it's base model, it has quite a good range from what I saw from the test drive. Uh, at 83%, it was still showing over 300 kilometers of range, which is really impressive for a car that size. Um, but if you, you know, it also comes with the power seats, the Pro Pipe 2.0, the auto parking, the, the heated seats front and rear, heated steering wheel, dual zone climate controls. You have separate controls in the back as well. Huge trunk with a power lift, you know, or boot, whatever you want to call it. Huge boot, huge trunk. Um, does not have a frunk. Nissan still doesn't go that route, which they would, but they, it's still no frunk on there. Um, and beautiful big, those, those wheels are, I think those are 18s and they're huge. You can go bigger if you're willing to pay the money, but I think that's a fine size. Gives you a really comfortable ride, along with that suspension it has. Very nice. Um, the power is quite impressive. You have three power modes. Now you have Eco Mode, Standard, and Pro Pilot. And one thing I noticed with those three modes, when you change the modes, it doesn't change your range necessarily so they don't change the computer won't change the range how far it thinks it can go depending on what mode you're in drive mode which is new that's different um it looks like on the air conditioning maybe the mode doesn't even change like that though when you put turn the air conditioning it doesn't change the range on the gasometer it still had decent range with the air conditioning on it was showing really good range still over 300 kilometers of range um with the air conditioning going as long as you don't go haywire with it as long as you don't go Turn it into it, make it into a refrigerator. You should have plenty of range even with the air conditioning on or heat. Um, seats are extremely comfortable. You have power lumbar support on the driver's side, but the passenger side also has power seats and you can even lift it up. My wife loved that feature. She loved being able to raise it up high so she could look out the window too because she's kind of little. Um, let's see here, leg room is ridiculous. Um, anywhere front or back of the vehicle, plenty of leg room. And uh, 
Let's see, that's all I can think of for now. I'm running out of light really quick here, guys. It's a dark day today. We're getting so close to rainy season over here. I was really hoping to catch this car on a sunny day. Unfortunately, we're close to rain season, clouds are here. Uh, there is uh, a couple sunny days coming up, but unfortunately this car is a loaner to this dealership and it's being, it's gonna be passed around, it's going somewhere else. So I only have today for ac you know access for today. I would have had more access, but they, it, it had some problems and they were working them out and it just got resolved yesterday. So unfortunately for anybody who want to test drive in this location, it, it, it they didn't get much time. But anyways, it is what it is. Uh, I've really enjoyed driving this today. If you, I mean, I still say, if you don't need a car, don't buy anything new right now. Don't get a big loan, any car out there, any EV. As far as EVs go, electric cars go, in, in Japan, it's still, this is now one of the most affordable big cars out there. I can't get even a Model 3 at this price. Not even the entry level Model 3 comes at this price. It's, it's more expensive than this car. So now, officially in Japan, this car is the best deal for long range, big EV in Japan. That's cool. Um, but I still, if you don't need to buy, I really recommend not doing it. The economy is sporadic to say the least. Uh, we don't know what's going on with diesel and gas and, and food. Supply chains are having a hard time. It just could, it, everything could go to heck in a handbasket pretty quick. So if you don't need to buy a car, I would strongly recommend not doing it. But if you have to get a car, if you really need a car, I, I, can't, I can't recommend this one enough. It's a great car. Uh, if possible, wait a year and get it used. But if you have to buy new, I, it's solid. It feels like a, it feels like a really high-end Lexus or Infiniti or Acura uh, when you're driving it. It has that feel. Nissan sounds like they want to get, because they like the new badge, the new Nissan badge, they want to get rid of the Infiniti badge. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, uh, the car, the car I can't recommend enough. I hope you enjoyed this video. I did the best I can could in a short, short time, especially with the weather and the amount of light I have and the fact that I can only go about two kilometers around two times. But I, I hope it was enough for you guys to help you guys out. I'm making a decision on your next purchase. Thank you for watching this review and I hope to see you again soon. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.